Howdy folks, and welcome back to the laundry store we started last year, my brother's house. I hope you're doing well. Daddy, that's backwards. And we got Anna. And Nelly. <laughs> we got Brody. And we got Adam, my brother. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. We got some good content coming out. I appreciate you watching. Drop a comment, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. I really appreciate it. Let's get started. So that's right, we're back uh, working on his yard. He has Bermuda. We started it last year. I'm gonna give you an update. I know I did a few weeks ago, kind of showed you the status. Uh, we're getting pre-emergent down today. Gonna start that process. He has a few weeds, but it looks so much better than it did last year. So go ahead and wish him a happy birthday. Today is actually his birthday. He's 39, <laughs> 29, and wish him a happy birthday in the comments. So let me go give you a, just an update on his lawn if you're new here. We started last year working maybe around April or May, something like that. Uh, last year we didn't get pre-emergent down, so he had Dallas grass really bad. He had a bunch of weeds. He's got a few popping up, but compared to um, his next door neighbors, his next door neighbors, it looks way better than it did last year. So let me go give you an update and we'll get started. All right, so this is the side yard. This is really all we ever get on video. He's got another section of his yard, but we're just doing, uh, concentrating really on this side of his yard for the videos. But um, if you remember last year, if you're new here, this was completely covered with weeds, completely covered with Dallas grass. Not quite like that, his neighbor, but it was uh, it was pretty bad. So he's got a few weeds popping up, nothing major, but we can, we can yank those right on out and get some pre-emergent down. And, but as you look over here, it's just nice, as far as the grass, just nice uh, dormant Bermuda. So that's what you wanna see this time of year. He's probably got, we've had some warm weather the last couple of weeks. So I, I bet you he's got some Bermuda starting to pop up under there. So we wanna get some pre-emergent down and keep it looking nice. So we're gonna get that spectra side out. It only takes one bag um, on his yard. As you remember, we put this out at my yard. We put this out at my parents' yard. We'll get that down. We got Brody here. We'll let him and uh, Adam put that out. And then we'll talk and talk about the plans of what we have for his lawn this year. Look what we just found at his house. He was asking, hey, what is this stuff right here? We, I bought this last year, we didn't use it all. This, I said, well, that what there is what we call liquid gold. I wish, uh, Hopefully, we could get something similar coming up this season. All right, so I'm going to relax. We're going to let Brody and Adam put this out. So, Brody, show him how to cut it and pour it. You, you, might, you going to put those out in sand? Adam's the rookie. I don't know if I'd put pre-emergent herbicide out and, and choose like that. It'll be all right. All right, so as always, right here, he's gonna be putting the edge guard on and he's gonna do a trim pass. And then we may accidentally get the edge guard off so we can sling a little bit of uh, pre-emergent over here. But we'll just keep that between us and us and you. All right, go ahead, Adam. Looking, looking tight on you there. Well, you shouldn't have wore the shirt from when you were a teenager. <laughs> so as I've said before, you noticed him in his natural area right there, where he's a lot of weeds. It looks like he's come through and sprayed weed killer on it. I told him to spread the pre-emergent in there. He's not planting any flowers or seeds or anything like that there. So get pre-emergent in the natural area to try to um, prevent any new weeds from coming. So. I think he has some plans for this that we'll ask him about, but get pre-emergent in your natural areas to keep weeds from growing there as well. All right, so while Adam's putting pre-emergent down, uh, we're gonna be putting out this hose in, uh, post-emergent spectricide weed killer. Uh, he has a few weeds. He's got more on his other side of the yard. Um, so we just wanna go ahead and get those killed, um, get post-emergent spray on the grass before all the Bermuda starts popping up, because I like to get post-emergent down uh, before it gets hot 
and so we're not putting it down on nice new fresh Bermuda. So take care of the weeds now and hopefully pre-emergent will prevent any other new weeds. So that's gonna do it. So Adam, yes, sir. what's your plans for the yard this year? Well, Chris, I'm glad you asked. I'm not entirely sure what my plans are for this year. Besides get rid of these weeds, maybe do some natural things in this region here. That's that's about it. Um, that well, that, that sounded like Forrest Gump. That that's, that's all about I got to say about that. So yeah, I think he was talking about God. Air conditioner's loud. So I think he's getting these weeds under control. I think he's gonna put some pine straw or something down and. Did you say you'd like to have these bushes pulled up? That'd, that would be the wife's decision, yes. That would be, maybe we can get, at least cut them down real low. Those things are, I bet, rooted pretty well. So that's his plans. So the next time we'll be over here is time for the spring scout. Um, get that old dead dormant uh, Bermuda out of the way. So the nice new green Bermuda can pop up and then we'll go from there. It's all about having fun, guys. You see, see Adam over here having fun. Get out there in the yard with your family, have some fun, and dominate your neighbors. That's what it's all about, dominating your neighbors. I'm just kidding, of course, but I'm not. So anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Chris with Adam, and we got Brody over here somewhere. And this is The Lawn in Life. See you next time. You can go follow me on TikTok at The Gill Hammer and on Instagram at The Gill Hammer and my sneaker page at Mayo and Tuck. Chris, put this at the end credits.